Hey guys, it's Brian again with another ceiling fan video. What I have for you here is a rather special treat. Here I've got a 52 inch Hunter 1886 limited edition ceiling fan from 1994. It's black in color and it's absolutely mint. Except for having a few scratches on the down rod from the sliding of the two canopies, this fan is absolutely gorgeous. Not a single blemish on it whatsoever. I picked this up from a seller down in Columbus a few months back and I have another one that's black and I also have a Verde one but the black one was always my favorite and this one is 100% complete. The other black one that I have needs a new pull chain but I've always wanted to own one of these ever since I was a little kid. I actually have a 1994 Hunter catalog that has one of these in it in black. And the black and the Verde were always my favorite colors. It's a three-speed reversible fan. Even has the original little pull chain thing on the bottom, although I lengthened it for testing purposes. Reverse switch works perfect. Blades are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to tell you the truth, I really wish that I had a place to put this in my house, but unfortunately, because my ceilings are so low, I don't. But this would be a great bedroom fan. And I apologize for the light saturation. There's the tag on the top canopy. I'll put a picture of that at the end of the video. When these fans were brand new, these things retailed for a ton of money. And they came in a limited edition wooden crate. Alas, I do not have that. I wish I did. I could put that in my office somewhere and display it. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and turn it on. The only gripe that I have with this fan is that whoever owned it before probably replaced the pull chain and it was wired incorrectly. So the speed sequence on this fan goes high, medium, off, and then low, and then back to high. Not really that big of a deal. I can fix it, but kind of annoying. Moving a pretty nice gentle breeze on low. In my opinion, it's kind of fast for a low speed, but it is a good air mover. So the next pull will be high, and then we'll go to medium. Very smooth running fan. These were designed to be a replica of the original Turk fans, one of the first ceiling fans ever produced. And as you can see, the blades mount to the motor housing, which is made of cast iron. And the motor housing itself mounts to a spinner motor that's actually located inside of the housing. I always thought these were oil bath for some reason, but Apparently not. Off, low, high. It does have a little bit of a wobble to it. And these do hang on a uh, clawed mount like the originals do. Same mounting system, claw and a grommet, and either a U-bolt or a J-hook, but because these are reversible, you're gonna to wanna to put them on a U-bolt. Very large amount of air. Very good air mover. I like this fan a lot.
and we'll go ahead and turn it off. Medium off. Do a spin down. The bearings are absolutely silent. In very good condition. Like I was saying, I really wish I had a place to put this in the house, but low ceilings. But if I ever have a space to install this in my future home, I definitely will. These are one of my all-time favorite Hunter fans. I actually got a pretty long spin down, most likely due to the fact that it's got that cast iron housing mounted to the spinner motor that's inside, probably keeping the momentum going from the weight. But you get to enjoy every minute of that. And I'll be sure to put pictures of the 1994 catalog at the end of the video so that you can see what I was talking about. Little side note to mention here, the upper canopy and the lower canopy are actually adjustable. The lower canopy mounts the same way as the upper canopy where it slides up and down the down rod and it uh, locks in place with a set screw. Really cool design fan. And there was a later model of the 1886 that was made, um, I believe it was sometime around 2012. They may even still make it, I don't remember, but it was a two blade version of this fan that was made to look like the original, uh, the original Turk fans, two blade version, but alas, it was kind of a crappy fan. This is a way better quality fan. So there you have it. That's the 52 inch Hunter 1886 limited edition ceiling fan. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep watching more videos to come.